So the beauty about running tech-based channel on YouTube is that once you reach my level, you're almost certain to get one request per day uh, from various kinds of tech-based firm asking whether you'd be interested to review their product for free. And um, I remember look back, it started from price range from 20 to 30 US dollars, but nowadays it's more like 100 to 200 US dollars average up to 1000 US dollars. So the products are getting more interesting and more pricey. So please stay tuned on my channel. So I'll guarantee you, you'll get a very interesting context in the near future indeed. So for the same example, uh, Sabina Tech kindly asked whether I'll be interested to review their product called Smart Mic Plus. As you can see, I got a wired mic that is connected to my DSLR camera and I just want to upgrade. And um, fortunately enough, they actually seem to know that I wanted this. So this is a very interesting product. This is actually the CES 2000 Innovation Award for the headphones, personal audio, and the mobile phone devices accessory as well. So basically this is one unit is actually designed to be connected to your either your iOS or your Android phone uh, through uh, Bluetooth connection. Uh, this one is actually model number S uh, 610 by the way um, and actually I asked Abinet Tech whether I can actually get a receiver so to be able to get a receiver for your DSLR they said that I need to get another unit so hence I got two units here with the um, 3.5 millimeter uh, jack as well so I'm very excited to do the unboxing and test it out comparing to the wired um, mic that I have here so let's get into the unboxing here it goes I think that will do for the time being. Okay, so the moment of truth. Wow, look at that. That is really tiny. It kind of reminds me of a lighter, but even smaller than that. And we got this red button here. We got the windproof uh, hair, hairy ball uh, cover. <laughs> that looks like the iPhone um, related headphone ear from Jack, just for a single. And we got the USB cable. And we got the alternative, where else would it be but here? Manual instruction that I'll just quickly flick it through so that you guys could actually check it out. Um, please do pause and have a look. Okay, so we got the QR code as well, so iOS. And then this is the quick guide, actually. This is the colored version of it. It's a pictured, very well described instruction how to set it up. And uh, lastly, we got the actual jack. We got one for the iPhone news and one for the actual jack 3.5. So the quick run through of the main part is that uh, this is where the microphone is and this is where you actually put in your jack or the iPhone jack. And um, that's for the power on and function button. This is where the LED uh, lights will come in to let you know what sort of function is actually after and this is where you charge it and um, i have to say the feel of the quality material and so on is really good slight weight onto it but not too heavy and it's a very good quality indeed so well done for that so the main features about this is that if you have one um, smart mic plus is that you'll be able to do a vlog mode so that actually is connected to your iphone and then you can record it now if you have two you can actually have this interview mode. So it's called TWS mode. Uh, so if you could pair that into one device, you can actually interview someone. And uh, the other one is basically, you need the iOS adapter for this case, but if you get this, then you'll be able to plug into your iPhone, hence record it and so on, okay? And lastly, for the DSLR, uh, which I'm trying to try out on my case, is that you need to plug it into your DSLR with one unit and then Bluetooth connect it to the other one and then you can do the recording in D. And lastly, this is the MS mode three, which is that you actually connect it to the earphone jack and then connect it to the other one with the audio device system indeed, or your computer. And that's pretty cool. So as you can see on the left hand side, I got my smart mic plus connected uh, Bluetooth to my uh, Galaxy C4 three. On the right hand side ish, I got the wired mic that is connected to my uh, DSLR camera so I'm actually simultaneously recording it and I'm going to do a bit of a swap around sound comparison so that you can see which one is better. Now um, I'm actually uh, quite excited about this because that uh, this basically Smart Mic Plus actually has this noise filtering function indeed so let's say if you're in a windy environment you'll be able to actually well this will be able to filter things out so that you get a clearer sound of your voice 
and etc hence you got all these different covers for your mic as well to make sure that's actually happening as well but what overall i'm actually excited about the test results comparing to these two units here so indeed so normally when i actually carried out a sound test for headphones my uh, custom made binary device called bruv here is very useful because it has an ear shape so that you just need to place your headphone and then record it and so on that's it but when it comes to earbuds it's a bit of a nuisance because you actually have to hold it against his ears and so on but i thought the alternative would be why not have two of the Bluetooth microphone connected to my smartphone and then record it? So um, before we get into that, I just want to highlight the battery life here for both smart mics. Both of them were actually 100% and one actually went down to 80%, but uh, from, a, from a fresh box, I haven't actually charged it and both of them are still 100% charged that's amazing so that kind of shows the battery life here but anyhow let's do the sound test against my sony xm4 So to be able to achieve the MS mode 2 uh, for the DSLR recording, one needs to become a receiver and the other one needs to become a mic. So to be able to achieve this is pretty simple actually. So when you turn on one of the device, make sure it's disconnected to your uh, smartphone for Bluetooth connection, by the way. So you press it for 10 seconds and soon you're gonna see the blue blinking lights suddenly turning into green and red, okay? So that's now ready to be synchronized to become a receiver mode. So you can see that it's blinking in green and the other one you just need to press it for a normal turn on for the blue blinking light. So now you can see that one is calmly blinking as a green and one calmly blinking as a blue. So you can distinguish which one is the receiver which is the green or the yellowish kind of green and the blue as a mic. So finally we are on the MS mode 2 which is a DSLR recording mode so one of the smart mic pro will become a receiver and I could actually see the green light flashing in front of me for this actual unit and one remains as a microphone which actually in the case of blue flashing light as I shown early on. So to prove that I'm actually carrying out the sound test for this settings I'm actually going to stand up and I'm going to actually leave the recording studio door opening door closing so you can hear the sound of door closing and I'm actually walking past the corridor and I'm actually going to head towards the toilet okay so the lights on for the toilet and you will very much hear the echoing sound and on the background you'll be able to hear the ventilation sound as well now so I'm just about to head back to the corridor and I'm going to turn off the light for the WC and now I'm actually walking back through the corridor and I'm just about to open the door and then I'm back in the recording studio close the door and I'm going to sit down and that's pretty much it so that's very very impressive so finally i can say goodbye to the wired microphone settings and upgrade myself into this bluetooth based high quality microphone called smart mic plus now um one of the things i actually did notice was there was a bit of a hissing sound on my early recording and i actually queried about this and it turns out the auto gain seems to cause this hissing sound now i actually looked into my camera the canon eos 
M50 and there was a function of um, attenuation, auto, enable and off. Once I change it to enable, that seems to dramatically reduce the hissing sound. So I'm pretty happy with this sound quality. Now, the other thing is that the way how Canon EOS M50 is designed is that the microphone jack is right next to the preview screen. So um, once I plug in the receiver jack into the microphone um, slot, it actually, the wire itself, the receiver wire distracts the preview screen. So the solution for that is that you can toss it uh, the actual microphone receiver device behind the previous screen, but yet on the way how it's joined in the end, um, it kind of disguised the battery life and how many minutes in time you're actually being recording. But I tend to not monitor that. I only check that after I record it, but it's something that you need to bear in mind indeed. Now, some of the things I actually didn't expect, one of the biggest one was that, the good news is that um, I can use Smart Mic Plus as a device for reviewing the sound quality of earbuds. As you know, my channel, I often get those sort of requests for reviewing earbuds. Um, I kind of struggle using my device called Brav here and um, because I have to hold it up all the time, but now I could replace that with this Smart Mic Plus. So not only I can record it for the sound of the main video, but also the earbud sound review as well. So I'm very excited about it. And I just want to say thank you very much to Seven and Tech to giving me this opportunity to review this fantastic device. And I'm really happy with the quality and the sound is really good. But if you have any queries, I'm more than happy to come back to you. So please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.